आर स्टडिंग द स्ट्रक्चरल एंड फंक्शनल यूनिट ऑफ नर्वस सिस्टम दैट इज द न्यूरोन दिस न्यूरोन आर द स्ट्रक्चरल एंड फंक्शनल यूनिट ऑफ द नर्वस सिस्टम ओके दिस न्यूरोन द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ न्यूरोन इट इज हैविंग द सेल बॉडी इट इज हैविंग द सेल बॉडी दिस सेल बॉडी कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ द साइटोप्लाजम the cell organelles and the lysels granule it contains it contains the cell organelle the cytoplasm and the lysels granule lysels granules are nothing but a small granules granular body which is having the rer and the ribosomes okay this nissels granule these are nothing but the fragments these are nothing but the granules of ribosomes and the rer you might be knowing what is rer okay yes this is what the cell body this cell body projects out into a small short fibers this we call it as what the dendron this dendron divides sub branches the sub branches of this dendron are called as what the dendrites okay the cell body projects out into a short fiber those short fiber we call it as what the dendron the the sub branches of these dendron we call it as what the dendrites okay the long fiber running we call it as what the axon okay this is the long fiber which is running we call it as what we call it as the axon okay which transmit the impulses away from the cell body okay this axon it is having some sort of cells we call it as what the squamous cells the squamous cells these squamous cells they secrete a sheath around this axon that we call it as what the myelin sheath the myelin sheath okay that we call it as what the myelin sheath okay around these axons there are a sort of cells those sort of cells we call it as what the squamous cells these squamous cells secrete some sheath around the axon that is what the myelin sheath okay in between the two adjacent myelin sheath there is a gap okay in between uh, the two adjacent myelin sheath there is a gap or a node we call it as what node of ranier we call it as what the node of ranier okay there is a gap between the two adjacent myelin sheath we call it as what the node of ranier okay this branching of this axon we call it as what the axonite the terminal we call it as axon terminal the end of this axon we call it as what the axon terminal at the end of this axon terminal there is a bulb like structure that bulb like structure we call it as what the synaptic nerve yes at the end of this axon terminal there is a bulb like structure this bulb like structure we call it as what we call it as a synaptic nerve in this synaptic nerve there are some synaptic vesicle consider this is the synaptic nerve and there are some synaptic vesicles these vesicles contains a um, chemical that chemical we call it as what the neurotransmitter we call it as neuro
transmitter. Okay. This is what the structure of neuron. The structure of neuron is having the cell body, the dendron and the exon part. This cell body consisting of the cytoplasm, the cell organelle and the nissels granule. These nissels granules are nothing but the granules of RER and the ribosomes. Okay, the small uh, fiber which is projecting out from the cell body, we call it as what? The dendron. The sub-branches of this dendron, we call it as what? The dendrites. A long fiber which transmits the impulses away from the cell body, we call it as what? The exon. This exon is having uh, cells around it. Those cells, we call it as what? The squamous cells. These squamous cells are going to secrete a sheath around this exon. We call that as myelin sheath. Okay. Between the two adjacent between the two adjacent myelin sheath, there is a gap. That gap we call it as node of Ranvier. We call it as what? The node of Ranvier. The end of the exon we call it as what? The exon terminal. At the end of the exon terminal, there is a bulb like structure. That bulb like structure we call it as what? The synaptic knob. This synaptic knob is having the synaptic vesicle in it. Those vesicle contains the chemical. That chemical, that chemical we call it as what? The neurotransmitter. Okay. Yes, based on the presence of the exon and the dendrons, the neurons are classified into three types. One is the unipolar, second one is bipolar, third one is what? The multipolar. Based on the presence of exons and the dendrons, it is classified into three types. One is multi, uh, unipolar, bipolar and the third one is what? The multipolar. Okay. In multipolar, ha what happens? There is one exon and two or more dendrites. Okay. In multipolar, it is one exon and two or more dendrites. Example for this, these are found in the cerebral cortex. Okay. These are found in what? These are found in the cerebral cortex. It is having one exon and more dendrites. More dendrites. Two or more dendrites. Uh, these are found in what? They are found in the yes cerebral cortex. Whereas this bipolar, it is having one exon and one dendron. One exon and one dendron. Okay, these are found in the retina of eyes. These are found in the retina of eye. Whereas this unipolar, it is having the cell body and the Exon. There will be no dendrites. These are found in the early embryonic stages. Okay, these are found in what? These are found in the early embryonic stages. What happens in the uh, unipolar? Here what happens? There is only one exon and the cell body. There is no dendrites. Okay. These are found in the early embryonic stages. Whereas bipolar it is having... One exon, one dendron. These are found in the retina of eye. Whereas this multipolar, it is having one exon and more dendrites. These are found in the cerebral cortex. Okay. This is, uh, these are the types of neurons. Okay. Now coming to the types of exons. There are two types of exons. One is the myelinated exon and another one is the non-myelinated exon. Myelinated exon is the one which is having the myelin sheath. The exon which is having the myelin sheath, we call it as what? The myelinated egg exon. Okay. The non-myelinated exon is the one which does not have this myelin sheath. The squan cells does not produce a myelin sheath around the Exon. Those kind we call it as what? The non-myelinated exons. 
okay the classification uh, there are three types of uh, neurons based on the presence of axons and the dendrons one is the unipolar second one is the bipolar third one is the multipolar in multipolar what happens one axon and many dendrites two or more dendrites these are found in what the cerebral cortex whereas in bipolar what happens there is one axon one dendron okay one axon one dendron found in the retina of the eye unipolar it is having only axon and the cell body there is no dendron found in the embryonic stages then next is the types of axon there are two types of axon one is the myelinated axon and another one is the non myelinated axon in myelinated axon what happens there is a myelin sheath there is a presence of myelin sheath around the axon hence the name myelinated axon whereas if this axon does not have a myelin sheath then we call it as what the non myelinated axon okay this is all about the structural and functional unit of our nervous system that is the neuron okay